We're now going to consider the similarities and differences between distance and displacement and speed and velocity. So displacement is a vector. This means it has both a magnitude and a direction. It's often represented with the letter S and we need to put an arrow on our letter S or use some other notation to indicate that this is a vector. Distance, on the other hand, is a scalar. It only has a magnitude. So two meters, for example, is a distance, while two meters south is a displacement. Velocity is also a vector. It has both a magnitude and a direction. It's usually represented by the letter V, and we need to show that this is a vector. Now, the velocity tells you about the rate of change of the displacement. So mathematically, this means that the velocity is the derivative of the displacement with respect to time. We'll be looking at how to calculate this in more detail later. Speed, on the other hand, is a scalar. So a speed just has a magnitude. It doesn't have a direction. The speed of an object can be calculated using the equation that the speed is equal to the distance divided by the time. Now, when we're calculating the velocities and speeds for different objects, we need to be very careful to read the question carefully, as sometimes we can be asked to calculate the average velocity or speed, and sometimes we can be asked to calculate the instantaneous velocity or speed. So the instantaneous velocity or speed is calculated with our differential equation, and this tells us how quickly the displacement is changing at that point in time. The average velocity, on the other hand, we consider over some time interval, and it's the change in displacement over that time interval. So it's the final displacement minus the initial displacement divided by the time will give us the average velocity. So let's have a look at an example now which makes it really clear what some of the similarities and differences are between these different quantities. So we will consider the problem. A car completes a 1.00 kilometer circuit of a racetrack in 1.0 minutes, ending at the starting line. Part A, what is the total distance traveled by the car? Part B, what is the displacement of the car at the end? C, what is the car's average speed? D, what is the car's average velocity? And E, can we calculate the instantaneous speed or velocity of the car when it is halfway around the circuit? Okay, so part A is easy because this is given to us in the question. We're told that it completes a 1.00 kilometer circuit of the racetrack. So the total distance it travels is equal to 1.00 kilometers. Part B says, what is the displacement of the car at the end? Now, this car is going around a circuit, and so it starts at some point, and then it comes back to this same point. So the total displacement is how far it ends up from the origin, the origin being its starting point. And it ends at the same point it starts at, and so the total displacement is equal to zero, because it's at the same place. So zero kilometers or meters, it's zero. Okay, C, what is the car's average speed? So the average speed is equal to the distance over the time. So the distance it's traveled is one kilometer. So we can write this as a thousand meters and the time it took was one minute. So we can write one minute as 60 seconds just to convert from minutes into SI units. So we're doing 1000 divided by 60 and we end up with 16.7 meters per second. And then strictly speaking, because this 1.0 minutes is in two significant figures, we should present our final answer with two significant figures. So that's 17 meters per second is the average speed of the car as it completes this circuit. Part D then says what's the car's average velocity. So the average velocity 
is equal to the change in the displacement, the final displacement minus the initial displacement over the time. But as we've said here, it ends up back where it started. So the total, the change in the displacement here is zero. And this is over the 60 seconds. And so this is equal to zero meters per second is the average velocity of the car. And then part E, can we calculate the instantaneous speed or velocity of the car when it's halfway around the circuit? Well, we can't actually. So if the question told us that it traveled at a constant speed, then we'd know the instantaneous speed was the same as the average speed. But the question doesn't tell us that. It might go faster the, for the first half of the circuit than the second half of the circuit. So we can't conclude that. With the velocity, the instantaneous velocity as it goes round is not going to be zero at most places. If it was zero at a place, then it wouldn't be moving at all. And so we really can't calculate the instantaneous velocity. We'd also need to know more about the shape of this circuit, which we're not told about in the question. So no, we can not calculate either of these using what is given in the question. So hopefully this example illustrates to you the difference between instantaneous and average speeds and velocities.